Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. We are still broadcasting live from E3. Uh, welcome, everyone, and welcome to you, Andrew. Hello, sir. Hi, how you doing? I, I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, we just talked backstage. I love your beard. I feel like that's going to make a strong stage thank presence you. here. Um, you are a developer and uh, designer on Rainbow Six Siege. Yes. Which is your, your shirt. Um, <laughs> you guys just revealed this, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, do you want to just walk us through what we're going to be seeing today? Yeah, so you're going to see uh, our on-stage uh, demo you saw at the Ubisoft press conference. It's a 5v5 hostage game mode. Cool. Uh, no respawn between uh, attackers and defenders uh, in a house. So the attackers need to go in the house, extract the hostage. So as you so see here, getting... started up Team Raven, Team Rogue, an Great. homage to previous Rainbow Six games. We're just going to keep turning over our shoulder and looking at the footage, <laughs> but you guys can bear with us. Please enjoy. Uh, yeah, t talk to us about, uh, about uh, what environment we're going to be uh, you know, seeing and uh, how this fits into the overall game. So what you're seeing right here is the, uh, is the preparation phase for both teams, uh, the attackers and defenders. You're following the role of the attackers right now that are observing the, uh, the environment with a little, uh, little drone. So the drones move it around. They're seeing the defenders move around the world, uh, setting up wall reinforcements there, which negates all destruction on that wall. So breach charges will not go through. They're placing barricades to actually uh, to slow down the attackers in the oncoming uh, assault. Let's find the uh, hostage here. So she's, uh, he finds the hostage, knows the location is, re uh, t explaining where, what's going on to the team. Awesome. OK. So this is a high intensity moment right here. Yep. So can I control, can I just always control the little camera on the ground? Do I have, can I, because that would be good. Yeah, yeah, I would prefer, I would probably be too stressed out if, if this is what I was doing. I want to just drive a camera around. And what you see right here is uh, actually the, uh, the planning phase. So the attackers are deciding where to drop in from based on the information they've gained from running around observing the world with the drones. So they decided that a helicopter drop in on the roof is the best way to go because the defenders have really uh, set up a good perimeter and expect them to come in from either side. So they're dropping in from the top here. And uh, so, they're giving up towards us this asymmetry gameplay, which we call the siege gameplay. So attack versus defense. Attackers okay. the, the awesome. usual Rainbow Six uh, style. Defenders are a new gameplay where they know the siege is, they know the uh, assault is coming of the attackers. So they're placing uh, the fortifications around, really protecting the objective. Oh man, <laughs> this is wild already, man. So we, everybody's setting up here. You're gonna about to see our first breach, and this is a little sneak peek in what you're gonna see in destruction in our game. Destruction is the center of the experience of Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, awesome. And you were just telling me backstage that there is like a lot of procedural work that you guys did with Destruction. It's going to be very different, varied, often like throughout battles. Is that correct? Yeah. So it's a procedural-based destruction system, or destruction engine rather, called okay. Guild Blast, developed right in Ubisoft Montreal, and it's the core of Rainbow Six Siege. So you're seeing right here the walls getting blown up. We have a gunfight between rooms. So it's a it's procedural. It's based on materials. So you see in here a, a gyps wall in a house is breaking apart, just like how gyps walls would. Same thing with wood. So. If you're a shotgun blast between rooms, you know, getting the drop line of sight on your enemies, easy to ambush, placing breeze charges on walls and floors, making new uh, navigational opportunities. So you can walk on that. You're going to see that in a second. So this destruction actually does kind of change the way battle flows in a match. I mean, it's not just aesthetic. It actually uh, changes gameplay. No, it's the center of the experience. We want to awesome. make sure that awesome. it's a... Uh, it's, that's what we're going to push forward with a gameplay. Like you see here, just the walls are just getting torn up, gun, uh, gun battles between walls. You know, the guy with the shields, uh, you know, covering his buddies. But uh, yeah, explosions uh, coming from everywhere. But it's a center of the experience. It's where the player creativity comes in from both attack and defense. Awesome. Is there a button for passing out due to stress? Because <laughs> I would like to know that button for, for this match. That's one of the things about Rainbow Six, man. It's, a, it's all about tactics, team play, and tension. And we want to make a really tense experience with the, uh, the no respawn mode. Every single decision you make counts. Every single shot counts. You've got to stay with your teammates, be united in your plans, and really push through and get the objective done. You're just convincing me that the button is more needed for passing out. That's, that's <laughs> very stressful. Um, so how long would you say, I mean, I'm sure modes you know, vary the time of the match, but how long would you say a normal match would take a group of uh, group of friends. Well, the usual match right now, we're playing the time between uh, about, I think it's about three or five minutes here. OK, cool, So cool. Uh, you, it goes between rounds. So you, go, you start one round as an attacker, you know, going through trying to grab the objective. The next round, you actually go into defense. So you go into the defense part. You, start, you pick your objective location. You plan the same, uh, the same thing as before, trying to, have, uh, trying to 
hold off against the assault, so you alternate between attack and defense in Rainbow Six. Okay, awesome, awesome. Are you, are you guys talking about any other environments that we're going to see in the game, or is this what you're showcasing right now? What we're showcasing right now is, uh, is our house map in the Boston suburbs. Okay, awesome. It uh, really goes well with uh, sh the, you know, what we want to show fans coming out, announcing. Uh, this is pre-alpha right now, and we're, we're working really hard on getting a, uh, a new maps and new experiences, and we're looking forward in the future to sharing that with fans. Awesome. May I ask, how long have you guys been working on this project? I mean, this, you, you guys have probably put a lot of effort into this already. We've been working really hard since January 2013 on the project, you know, really getting together, making sure we're going back to what Rainbow Six is all about, and we iterated on that base principle. Uh, and, you know, destruction, we decided, we felt a real blast engine, and I mean, look at it, it's, it's, it's awesome. We have a breach here going into the room, getting a new opportunity to go through rooms, because Rainbow Six, are, they're masters of destruction, right? It's all about counter-terrorist units, combat in close quarters, you know, uh, being surgical with your destruction. So, as we've been working on it, it's really been the core of the gameplay. I feel like, I feel like the insurance on this house is going to like skyrocket after this <laughs> match. I actually feel really, really bad for these people. <laughs> um, so how does it feel, man? You guys just revealed this yesterday, correct? Yep. I mean, what is, what is the team feeling right now? It's E3 2014. We have all these people seeing the game for the first time. Well, we're really ecstatic. I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been amazing. The, the fans have been really good. The community's been really good. We've heard great things about it. The team is... We were really kind of chomping at the bit to just like, to show the world, you know, the, the brand new Rainbow Six, the father of tactical shooters is back and really kind of show everybody what we've been working on. And the response has been wonderful. We're awesome. very pumped to be here and show it off. Awesome. I mean, that, I feel like that would be a huge stressor, not to call back to stressors, but <laughs> it would be a huge stressor because the Rainbow Six community is huge. Uh, it's very passionate, and they've probably been wanting a game like this for a long time. So, I mean, what, is, what does it feel like going in as a developer and you have that community anticipating the next game? Well, we want to listen to the community. They're very vocal, uh, very vocal fans. They've been missing the franchise for so long, and we really want to deliver and make sure we had a really powerful experience. And uh, we really think we delivered with Rainbow Six. Awesome. Well, dude, thank you so much. Rainbow Six Siege coming out next year, correct? PS4, awesome asymmetrical multi. PlayStation.